All right, so today, guys, we're going to be deep cleaning the inside of this Super Impreza, which you guys can tell. This thing is a complete disaster and is definitely borderline hoarder's car with the amount of dirt, debris, trash, food, whatever you see in this shot, a ton of stuff that needs to be cleaned out. So we're going to transform this today. We're going to rip out the entire interior, but also I told the owner that I would clean up the headlights for him as well, which we'll get to that later on in the video. So if you're new, smash the subscribe button, and as always, guys, thumbs up are much appreciated. So smash that thumbs up button before we get started. So while I'm clearing out all of the trash and debris before we start the vacuuming phase, I want you guys to look and guess how much change I found in this car. Whoever guesses the closest first is going to win a $100 gift card to Amazon, which I'll announce in next week's video. So go ahead and enter in all of your guesses down in the comments below. I will say cup holders are probably one of my favorite because you never know what kind of gets solidified in there. And in this case, I'm not really sure how many index cards this is or business cards, but this little treat is uh, definitely looking delicious. Now one thing, if you own a car with black carpet, it is always nice because it hides some of the stains, but in this case, as I'm vacuuming it, you're starting to see more, I'm guessing this is probably salt from, you know, somebody spilling obviously maybe salt water, which is odd in my opinion, but um, based on the fact that these are as dirty as they are, in this situation is when I pull out the carpets, pull out all of the interior to kind of get a better idea of if any trash is underneath, any liquid that's maybe remaining, but also it saves a ton of time because extraction, if you have smaller stains and maybe just a less surface kind of, you know, stain issue, it's a little bit easier. But when it comes to this sort of staining, pressure washing is the way to go because extracting would take 10 times as long to get this carpet as clean as it would when you pressure wash it.
Now, if you ever drop anything in your center console in that e-brake area, or you lose something, or if you ever need to pull out your center console to clean your car, it's fairly simple. I've talked about this before. It's not very hard. I've never pulled an Impreza interior apart, but what I would say is that if you take your time, look for those different creases where all the panels come together. There's always just simple Phillips head screws or 10 millimeter bolts holding everything in or clips for that matter. And if you just take your time and kind of feel it out, you'll notice where those snags are and where you need to remove those pieces to remove that interior piece. So look on YouTube for tutorials if you need to, but take your time and you'll be able to remove it as well if you need to. Now with the interior completely stripped, I needed to take a break from the smell, so I went ahead and jumped to the headlights to clear those up and take that break. And to do that, I'm using the Cerakote Ceramic Headlight Restoration Kit, which I've used in several videos in the past, and I've pretty much used every ceramic or every headlight restoration kit or idea out there. And out of all of them I've used, this one works the best and lasts the longest, and it's guaranteed for the life of the car as long as you own it. Now inside the kit, you get the oxidation wipes, which removes all of that yellowing that you typically see on older headlights. It comes with the sanding kit with 2000 and 3000 grit sandpaper. And then it comes with the final step, which is that ceramic coating application wipe, which gives you that final ceramic coating clear coat that protects it, keeps it shiny, keeps it clear for the life of the car. Now for me, time is valuable. And from that perspective, when you order something and try to do a job later on or fix something, it's, it's hard to find that time. And with this kit, the best part about it is you can just go to Walmart and pick it up. It's in stock. You can even technically do it in the parking lot. It just makes it so much easier when you make that decision to clean your headlights, just to go pick it up and tackle the job. And for me, clear headlights are a necessity, especially when you do nighttime driving. And plus they just look 10 times better when they are crystal clear and they're not yellowed. So I highly recommend you guys, if you have yellow headlights that need to be cleared up, pick up the Cerakote kit. It works amazing and it's super easy to do. Anybody can do it. I even had my new intern who had never had detailed cars or done that job in the first place. He did it three cars back and knocked it out and it came out perfect. So no user experience required. Just follow the instructions and you guys can make your headlights look like brand new again too. So now with the headlights out of the way, we're gonna jump back into the interior and get the front seat started first by vacuuming it, and then we're gonna spray it with my all-purpose cleaner and carpet cleaning solution. And I had to use all-purpose cleaner as a grease fighter because this is actually caked in grease on the side rest and on the bottom part of the carpet. So with that sprayed on and soaked in, using my drill brush, I had to do about two to three spray applications and drill brushes to kind of get that oil broken down and lifted to the sudsy surface of that liquid before we can start the extraction. But it was pretty cool to see as I drill brushed it, it kind of just disappeared pretty much. It was pretty neat.
Now, if you are looking for drill brushes, I'm going to have them available on Fox Clean within the next two weeks or so. They're coming in stock, so I'm going to start pre-orders soon for them. But these are drill brushes that you guys can use on plastic, carpet, seats like I'm using. They're a great all-around. It comes with the cone, the smaller drill brush, and then the larger head for those larger jobs. But definitely be on the lookout for those. And if you need detailing brushes, microfiber towels, or pet hair removal tools, head over to Fox Clean after this video to pick them up. When it came to extracting the seed in particular, I had to do about three passes to get it completely clean. But when you guys see the end results at the end of the video, you'll be shocked and amazed at the transformation that took place because I was really happy with how well this stuff cleaned out of these seeds. Now for the door panels, I'm using all-purpose cleaner diluted 10 to 1, but for this sort of panel where it's all plastic and there's no carpet or fiber mist material at all on the door, the easiest thing to do sometimes is just use the drill brush again to hit those panels because you get that texture on door panels sometimes that are plastic that you could use a brush and a towel to get clean, but a drill brush just speeds up the job and makes your life easier and makes you less tired when you're doing your detail. And I didn't make this clear, but if you saw the cigarette cartons in the car, you noticed that this was a smoker's car as well. So the steering wheel, the, uh, the um, turn signal stock, multiple components of the car were caked on with that tar smoke residue that gets on the steering wheel especially. Um, but using the all-purpose cleaner once again in my detailing brushes, we were able to get it all removed and clean. And like I said, those end result shots speak volumes for how well this car turned out.
Now, plus side to removing that center console, even if you don't pull your carpets, is that shifter area, especially on an automatic, you can't get to every part of that little uh, shifter cover underneath it especially, and even when you're trying to clean that uh, plastic cover on the gear shift le reservoir that slides in and out. And then the e-brake switch um, and, the, and the leather cover on there, all of those components you really can't get completely clean unless you break it down to individual pieces. So if you ever need to do that on your car, if you spill something or if you bought a used car that's dirty, you know, doing it once and doing it up front, just get it out of the way, you probably will never have to do it again. Um, but it is definitely something to consider if you do have those embedded stains or dirt that are hard to get to. Now for this center console area, especially these cup holders, I used this tip in the last video that somebody mentioned to me, but I took one of my detailing brushes, threw it in my drill chuck, and just using that drill brush as a, or that detailing brush as a drill brush essentially allows you to clean those cup holders really, really quickly. So like I mentioned, if you haven't got some detailing brushes from foxclean.com, pick them up today so that way you can use this method as well and just speed up that process of detailing. For me in particular, even using the brush method to clean out those cup holders, it is definitely recommended if you have those soaked in or like hard spots to get rid of, pre-saturate them, let them sit and soak so that way when you go back to them later on and clean them, they come off more easily and make sure it's perfectly clean.
Now for the carpets in the car, I'm gonna be pre-rinsing those, hanging them on the ladder here so that way gravity helps with draining them, but also making easier to pressure wash. I'm gonna pre-hit them with the pressure washer first before I saturate them with carpet cleaning solution, drill brush them, and then rinse them off again. Now, if you do this on your car and there was that carpet pattern underneath, which this one in particular was foam, a lot of those foam pieces are just glued on and can peel off. And it's sometimes a good thing to do, pull them off, let them sit out in the sun on their own. And so that way they don't get soaking wet and saturated. So by the time you put the carpet back in the car, those are dry as well. And it makes your cleaning process a little bit easier. Now I used to say Subaru carpet was the worst and it still is at the bottom of my list, but by using this pressure washer option, I've made my detailing job a lot easier. And in this case, this trunk carpet is super thin. It's a plastic backing board with really thin carpet. And the only real way to get that clean is to use your carpet cleaner solution, a drill brush, and then pressure wash it afterwards because you can't extract something that doesn't have a porous media behind it because when you use your extractor, you're trying to suck air through the carpet to suck that fluid out. And in this case, that isn't an option. So the only thing you can do is recommended is to pressure wash it and then set it up to dry with a fan blowing on it and you'll be perfectly fine with getting it clean. A lot of you ask how I remember how to put these cars together, so I did a little time lapse here of the whole reinstall. Um, it's one of those things that over time you develop a good memory of where you remove components or just a general idea of how things go back together because 
you know, you can generalize every car into the same category. They all go together in some way, shape, or form the same way. You have your carpet first, then you have your trim panels and center console. It's all the same, and it makes it easy to remember that from moving from car to car when you detail. So um, if you have problems remembering where things go, take pictures, write down steps, that sort of thing. Um, but if you, you know, more uh, technical in terms of how many times you've done it, you should have, have developed some sort of memory of kind of where those pieces go over time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this detail and transformation. I feel like the car turned out brand new by the end of it and no one would have a clue that it was this dirty before. Um, but the owner was super happy with the car and I want to tell you guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button and thumbs up button down below. And I want to thank Sarah Coat for helping out with this video and providing some of that cool product to help clean up those headlights. And like I mentioned, all that stuff's available at Walmart so that way you guys can clear up your headlights as well. See you guys next week.